What's up friends? Just wrapping up all my meetings and it is now 2.20 and I'm super stoked and this is my favorite part of the day because this is when I get to pick up my little boy, my little monkey dude, my little taika malaika. You know who I'm talking about. Um, I'm in my freaking corner right now. This is like the most depressing fucking office ever. I've had like no time or desire to be honest with you to like complete any of this. Like, I feel like my desk is a little too small. Okay, so if this is my phone, that's the edge of the desk, and this is the other edge of the desk. Like, it's not the best, and like, my fucking computer screen is so massive. I have like, some food or my lunch that I had to eat, you know, in the middle of meetings. Oh, I always hate eating in meetings. I feel like it's so rude, but I'm also starving. Like, today I woke up at two, because I've just had this freaking horrible neck issue. I think I've always had this neck issue. And I think over the years, it just got worse and worse. And it's not neck, I'm sorry, back, like mid back, like down here, like by my shoulder blade. And I think it's just been overcompensating. Like the muscles around it have been overcompensating. And I just keep getting knot after knot after knot after knot to the point where now it's like, it went from like mid back to like, neck all the way down to my lower back so i'm gonna get this thing called dry needling out here in nevada that i guess is not legal in california i don't know why it's not it's not like a really dangerous thing it's literally acupuncture with like slight differences it's more of like western style of acupuncture don't ask me for the details i'm not too sure hopefully i can record that for you guys because it's like fucking cool so i'll ask my um DPT, if she's down to let me record some of it, because it's such an inter inter interesting process. But yeah, I'm gonna leave my depressing ass corner. Look at this, this shit right here. This is me, this is my desk. This is what, this is what, <laughs> where I sit. I need like something here. It's so depressing, dude. I'm a creative person. So to be in this space kills my fucking soul. Okay. Thank you. I'm done whining. I'm gonna change now so I can look like a decent. Okay, let's not push it here. So I can kind of look like I'm slightly alive inside. Okay, I'm gonna put some clothes on, BRB. All right, ready to go. Worry makeup. I always forget how much I love putting makeup on after I put it on. But the idea, just with my schedule right now, with putting makeup on, I'm like, ugh, for what? But, ugh, bitch. There's an eyelash here. It's kind of going dumb. There we go. Yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. And, ugh, and Leo. This is the only Leo that gives me a lady boner. I said what I said. Picked up the CUNY dude from school and practice. Would you say you wanted to eat when we got home? We literally just got back. What did you want? Cookie. With a big, with a big box right there. Oh. <laughs> so Papa was supposed to bring this back to LA and he completely forgot because he left like at five in the morning. Can you close the, I was gonna say garage. Wow. All right. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, I did that one. Ooh. Oh, that's hard. Do you want me to put it in the, I could put it in the microwave a little bit. Let me put in the, it's too hard. Let me put it in the microwave. Did you hear all that crunchy crunch? Okay. No more, no more. I could see you. No need. Like it does this thing where he smells everything and it's the worst. Cause we all know not everything smells the way it tastes. So something tastes bomb and then it just smells kind of off and he's like, oh, I don't want it. And I'm like, cut it out, dude. Cut it out, dude. Oh, is there like directions of how to warm it up? Let me see. I should have put it on the plate. What happened? Oh, good job. 
I'm the worst. Because it's not done yet. I it's a chocolate. Don't do that. He saw his life flash before him. As soon as I turned, I looked at him and was like, Sorry, Mama Cheeto. You better be! Okay, I think it's done. Oh, oh yeah. It's super done. It might be a little hot. Try it. Okay, so I couldn't record the dry needling just because I had to get like half naked. I know. Um, but when I got, so, not but, 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 but. Now I'm home. Got a package. Uh, it's daily harvest that came in, but this is the cool part. It came with dry eyes. <sighs> you guys see that there? Oh, I'm good to get out. Okay, Taika, turn the water on, and we've been just playing with it. If you guys have never played with dry eyes, you guys are missing out. See, look at that. <laughs> it's so so smoky, huh? <laughs> what are you coughing for? There's no reason to cough, weirdo. It smells like soap. It smells like soap. Super cool, huh? <gasps> I really tried to pull that. Silly goose. <gasps> but I need something. <gasps> you see. It smells like soap. <gasps> you touch me. You burned me. Oh, you're right. There is soap here. Oh, I hope it doesn't mess up my... Mama. Whoa. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. It could burn you. Why not? Why not? Oh, can I put it over here? I will. Okay, so day two on this vlog. Yesterday, I just, I was just too tired to continue vlogging. So we continue today. Today, I'm finally, hopefully, gonna get rid of that shit right there. The scaffolding that it was being used when they were installing our shades. But I, unfortunately, picked such a shitty company to work with. When they came to install it the first time, they got measurements wrong, things were done backwards. This over here was never even supposed to be installed in the first place. Like, why? So, that was already fucked up. And I'm like, oh, well, it's not a big deal, right? There's like one, two, uh, three things. I'm like, okay, that's not bad. We messed up by not getting these guys right here motorized. Because we thought we would save money. And we're like, we can reach it with the cord or whatever. The ones up there for sure needed to get motorized. We're like, okay, this looks stupid. Let's just get it all motorized. You guys have to fix that anyway. Okay. That was the beginning of the shit show. So it's more expensive to get these things motorized. So didn't think much of it other than like, all right, well, we got to pay more money. Anyway. So we go and they're like, oh, it should take about a week to order and get it in. It's been like a month and a fucking half. And I've had to like talk to the owner and be like, yo, what the fuck? And like, it's been a shit show, you guys. So then they say, hey, okay, yeah, sorry, we're not communicating very much and giving you updates, but like the company that makes the motors messed up and didn't include your motors in my order. And I'm like, I find that really hard to believe. Um, because even getting these initially installed, the guy was asking me what the colors I picked were two days before they were supposed to land here. <sighs> I don't know. I just didn't do enough research and this guy was really persistent and he had already done a bunch of um, shades in his property. So I was like, oh, okay, you must be good, but I should. I didn't even have a gut feeling. So I'm not even gonna say I should trust my gut. I had no gut feeling. I was like, all right, cool, hustler. He's on it. He was communicative, communicative. Um, was always updating me in the beginning. But once I cut the fucking check and gave the deposit, <clears throat> complete shit show. And I did give him a couple chances because I'm like, oh, okay, shit happens, I get it. You know, there's some miscommunication sometimes. I mean, things happen, it's COVID time. I knew there was delay, so I wasn't even thinking much of it when things were getting delayed. I was like, fuck it, it is what it is. Like, I think I'm pretty forgiving and pretty patient because I, I too own a business, a small business, and I know how things can get fucked up really, really quickly. So I, I get it, I'm empathetic, empathetic. I don't know, I can't talk right now, but yeah, almost two months, maybe even longer at this point. At least it feels like it's been a long ass time. <sighs> but it's finally getting done. 
I'm getting rid of that shit. Finally getting some blinds in here or completing the blinds. Like, this looks so fucking bad. I know at the end of the day, it's not a big fucking deal, but it's just an annoyance. It's a nuisance. You know what I mean? Like, why do I have to have that there? Why? Why can't I just rearrange the shit that I want to? Why can I not have like a, a slight heart attack every single day when I tell Taika not to play on it or if he runs by it, that he's gonna clip his head on it or something? Anyway, thank you for letting me vent. That felt good. I don't think I've complained about this enough. Cause now as I'm getting it out, I'm like, it's very therapeutic. I think I've just held it in for too long. Whew. Anyway, with all of that rant happening, um, I do have to clean this space, which is like PR boxes um, that I just haven't had a chance to get to so that they can get to that. So maybe I'll just do that. I'm gonna do an unboxing. Let's fucking go. Taika was so proud of making this last night. It's his art piece, open to interpretation. I really don't know what it is. Maybe you guys might know. Any thoughts? <laughs> this dude's so fucking weird, I love it. Look at this. Like, why did he put it there of all places? Okay, so first, the bat is a package from my girlfriend, Cassie, AKA Blogilates. I'm so incredibly proud of this hardworking boss ass woman. Her, she's just unstoppable. She is amazing. She's taking over the fucking world and I am so happy to see that. You have no idea how excited it makes me feel. But the idea that this woman is like, there's this thing that I want that doesn't exist. I'm gonna create it, she creates it, has such a wonderful, powerful community behind her that they go, thank you for reading our minds, puts it out there, sells it out, and then gets it into Target and sells it out there, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, look at her. She's like, the weights are just not cute, so I'm gonna make my own, and it's cushiony. Look at that, so she hooked me up with, no wonder this package was so fucking heavy. There's 10 pounds here. But look at this, so fucking cute, I just can't. And then this is her 62 ounce water bottle with her custom straw. I love you, I'm so proud of you, Cassie. Okay, so I am breaking down the boxes that I can use that I get from PR boxes because they're just perfectly good, almost new. Honestly, I think they just folded it to include whatever items were in the box. I'm not gonna let this shit go to waste. Like, look at how pretty this is. This is some beautiful stuffing. And the bag that it came in, this bag was for this. Yeah, no, I'm keeping this. We're using this again, dude. So, if you're one of the recipients of this stuffing, just know where it came from, okay? It's good. <laughs> we just got some flavored pasta from Pasta Papone. 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 I suck. Anyway. But I've never had flavored pasta before. Look at that, lemon pepper, spinach, basil, garlic, green chili, I am in. This one though right here, wait no. This one right here is gonna get it. I could smell the garlic through the plastic and I love garlic. Look who we have here. Hey cutie Look who the cat dragged in. <laughs> Look what trash the cat dragged in. Hi big cutie. Hi baby. I miss you. I just finished. I just finished training. I miss you too. I'm going to, I'm going to grandma's house, and then I'm gonna take a shower with the door open. Yes. Pull the curtains open too, and call my mom and have her sit there and watch you. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna purposely get the soap suds and have it drip down my back. Yeah, yeah. And then drop the bar of soap and then pick it up ever so slowly. Boom. Check up. Yeah. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop it while I bend over the other way. Wait, <laughs> how does that work? <laughs> you got to use your imagination. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got my girlfriend who makes coffee now, so I can't wait to try this. Like, look at the packaging, it's really cool. I love that I can, it's resealable. Ahoy, welcome to The Last Port. We like you because you know great coffee and we're in the same boat. Last Port was founded 
on a love for the best coffee, the best tattoos, and the best friends. So pour yourself a cup and stay a while. For sailors, sinners, and saints, this is your last pour. Ooh, super cool. Love that. All right. So we got Silent Mike. If you don't know who he is, he's like my brother. Started his own gym, his own apparel line. Look at that. I'll probably wear this today for my training session. So sick. Got a cool PR package from Aqua Fitness, Nora from Queens. Look at this. Oh, super sick. Hi, fuck. Okay, love this. What is this? Here? What is here? Ooh. I feel like you can always have too many mugs, but never really have too many mugs. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Super sick. Ooh, and it's those thick um, cafe ones. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Super cool. Look at this Amazon always being so good to us. I think this is like a picnic blanket. Taika is gonna love, love, love this. I think this is like a Galaxy Light projection noise maker. We got some games. I'm not sure what this is. I gotta read what this is, but Thank you, Amazon. All right, Brooks running, coming in clutch with these shoes. These things are so light. Right now, I'm currently, I'll show you. On this over there, I currently run in Hoka's, and those I already thought were pretty damn lightweight. They are chunky, which I do love because it supports the shins. Like I run a lot now and I've yet to feel any sort of shin split. So if you ever get shin splits, it could be you're just overloading your body way too much too quickly or you have the wrong pairs of shoes on. But look at the chunk is pretty similar, but these are way heavier than these. They're a lot wider. I do tend to have a wider foot and they're just not as cute. Like these are all right, but like, these are cute, dude. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Okay, so I totally missed this campaign. It's HBO Summer Together. I just didn't get the package, but every day has like a new activity and you can watch different shows that are ho being hosted on HBO. Look at this, Tom and Jerry. And then it comes with just different activities. So like s'more nights, uno nights, you can make the whole bracelets, play some basketball, and then this is like a projector sheet, uh, and you can have like a pretend campfire outside. This is the pretend campfire, and you can watch movies under the stars, and it tells you how to do it, and it came with everything. The clips and everything is in here. This is so cool. Okay, so I got a PR package from one of my favorite candy companies, and it's my favorite because it's health conscious. Um, I don't even know if that's the right way to say it. Like, it aligns with my fitness goals. I should say it that way better because everyone has their own health objectives. Everyone has their own standards of health. I'm only speaking from my own perspective. So this is why I like them. I'm trying to cut down on my calories. I'm trying to, you know, stay a certain weight. Um, but I do love me some fucking sugar. And I know, I know it's bad, I know it's bad, but I found this company, Project 7, and they're really dope because they're plant-based, and it doesn't taste weird, and the gumminess isn't weird, it's still very gummy. Um, low on sugars, I'm not gonna talk about protein because we don't give a fuck about protein, we just want snacks in our body. Um, they have aspartame uh, free gum, if you're looking for that. These right here, you guys, are the fucking shit. They're the shit. <sighs> and you see that? Only 60 calories. Whereas all the other ones will be like in the hundreds. Oh yeah, there it is. In the hundreds. This is, if you haven't noticed, this is like my little diet snack corner, caffeine corner. I also have them here, but this is salty. Not sweet side. Salty. So I keep it baked and I keep it quest. And everything else is Taika. Lucky ass, cute ass, Taika with cute ass metabolism. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the unboxing stuff because it's just way too much. Um, 
because this is what's happening. There's no more scaffolding. Look at that. I have my living room back. And they're installing and programming all of our shades now. After months. After months. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> no, but seriously, it was fucking annoying. They're still here installing, but... Oh, you already know the vibes. Oh wait, God, you guys just see the reflection. It's a must. Work and movie, it's a must. Yeah, so, super stoked. It's done. It's freaking fucking friendly fucking done. Yes, I need to take that out. And I clean all the boxes that were here. So, so much happened right now. Fuck. Yes, thank you. <sighs> and the scaffolding. The fucking scaffolding is out of here. I just have to put my couch back and like, you know. Oh my Lord. Oh Jesus, Taika. But, I'm feeling good about it. Okay, okay, okay. So, there's like another remote somewhere else. Okay. So this is the cool shit. This is what I wanted. I never in a million years thought my East LA ass would ever, one, be where I'm at today for sure, but have a fucking house that has automatic blinds that go up and down. Like, who the fuck do you think you are, bitch? Look at all this. Uh-oh. No! What happened? No! Okay. I don't know what happened there. Shit. Wait, what? Okay, well, okay. Oh, God. Okay, we'll figure this out. But those are up. Those are growing up. Okay. What the hell? What the hell, man? Okay. Oh, no! Okay, wait. Is it this? No. Oh man. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh man. Oh, what happened? I'll figure it out. Wait, there's another control. Oh my god, this was it. Okay, I get what's happening. Because there's so many windows, I think each remote can only do like 15. And this one has like 20 something. Okay, so the reason why I don't care that there's two remote controls, they're gonna bring back a hub that's gonna allow me to control it from my phone and set it on a timer so that I know like around six o'clock, at least these days until the time stuff changes out here. You know, the sun positioning or the earth, the sun positioning, Geo, the fucking sun positioning, the earth positioning um, changes, then it'll start setting at a different time. But I know that around six o'clock, the sun starts setting on this side. Whoa, hello. Hi, there we go. Start setting here. And then that just blasts you right in the face. So since I know that, then I'll program it for that. And um, and I won't need remotes anymore. And then this one, they have it has it too. Let's see. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but you gotta admit, it's pretty fucking cool. And there's no scaffolding. Did I mention that, everybody? Did I mention that? It's gone. All right, just got home, picked up the monkey dude. He's currently butt ass naked right now because he had some chocolate streaks on his underwear. And we have this thing that, because he just says he doesn't want to wipe his butt. I don't know if he knows what that means or if he's just saying he's wiping it incorrectly. So I'm trying to figure it out, but I tell him every time he's freaking poo poo streaks on his underwear. He's gonna be doing 10 push ups and he hates it. So today he went to go pee and I think he saw his underwear. He checked it because he doesn't like doing push ups. Um, 
and he's like walking upstairs naked. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? What happened? And he goes, oh, I'm gonna put my underwear in the hamper. I'm like, why? He goes, just because I don't wanna wear them anymore. I'm like, do you have poo-poo stains on them? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, monkey, you gotta tell me. So I didn't make him do the 10 push-ups because I felt like he told me the truth and telling me the truth is the most important things above the streaks. So I picked on rewarding the truth than punishing the streaks. You know what I mean? So yeah, so he's naked right now. Um, but we just went to the grocery store and I picked up some snacks or some food for the week. Um, I picked up some baked tortilla chips. I saw these and I was gonna get some other brand, but the other brand was like literally twice the amount of fat. Like literally it's 50% less fat. So I haven't tried these before, I'm gonna try them. Um, but hey, something's better than nothing. I also got, these are my fave. My absolute fave. Again, think of it in the diet category. These, cause straws, like we all, have stri straws and we need to clean them. What happened? You're putting, okay. So I see from the corner of my eye, a naked Taika that's crying, but he's crying out of frustration. So I'm like, what happened? And he says he's crying because he can't put his t-shirt on. Okay, go upstairs. I'll help you with the t-shirt, put some underwear on and then come back down with the underwear, go. He's happy again. He's happy again. Children are fucking psychopaths. He was literally crying. He was standing right there in that little corner, right there, crying, going, holding onto the wall, going like this. <laughs> Naked. Bro. Anyway, so yeah, so if you have reusable straws, moving on, right? Um, I thought these were super durable looking. These are like on the aisle, you know where they have like these random little knickknacks hanging off of the aisle? Like if you're walking down aisle seven in the middle, they have like reusable, I don't know, ice cubes or something. Yeah, there's some of those too. Um, yeah, I found it there. So I was like, yeah, I can use that. They got me. Uh, I got some blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. Cause whenever I do it on Instacart, although I'm so grateful that that thing exists cause it's such a time saver and fuck, I love it. But the people that pick the produce or the fruits are fucking blind or it's a conspiracy of some sort where they're like, fuck you for not getting it or they just don't know how to pick it because they always give me rotten produce. Always, 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 always. So I'm like, screw that. I'm getting it myself today. Luckily I had time to do it, so I did. Picked up some carrots. We are creating some pizza, so we're just gonna make it ourselves. Uh, one cucumber, because that's all I need. <laughs> so nasty but yeah really I just chop it up and then I put some seasoning on it and I eat it as a snack we're gonna make some um, turkey burgers hamburgers this has how many patties are in here how many patties are in here okay I'm assuming oh six cool six patties six buns not that I need that many I'll probably freeze the rest or we'll just continue eating it I got some Bebe spinach and arugula because greens, fiber, we need it. Obviously, this right here. Oh my God. Is Taika's. He got that with this. Um, when we want a little soda fix, this is really, honestly, these two are Bart's favorites. This right here, though, doesn't taste very diety. So if you want something that's diet without the diet, this is your go to. But yeah, got that for Bart. I like this. I mean, it does have that diety flavor to it. Okay. Big Boza. Good job. Are you wearing underwear? You put them on? Good. The shark ones. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'll help you with your shirt. Let me just finish, okay? Oh, I cut it on camera. You got it? Good job. Okay. I got some, I got some apples for the young tykes. These are actually smaller apples, which is this size. He can, he can actually finish. Mm, got some more cucumbers. These are the smaller ones. I like to chop these up. And the same thing I do with that thing, I do with this thing. Just add the seasoning. Got myself some limes. I bought this the last grocery trip that I did, um, just to test it out, and it was actually really good. 22 grams of protein, eight grams of fiber. Made it from chickpeas. It was actually really good. So I bought some more. Got some broccoli. So 
some avocado. Um, I think these are nectarines. Dragon fruit, because Tech is really curious about it, so I want to feed the curiosity. Little tangerines, grapes, some cheese for the pizza. Pepperoni, I found this one has 70% less fat. It's turkey pepperoni. I had no idea, so I got that. Um, I didn't know there was pizza sauce, sauce that they sold. I thought I was really just gonna get spaghetti sauce. Ground turkey, 93.7. I didn't even know this existed because I didn't cook for the longest. Um, but yeah, you can pick the leanest to fat ratio. So you want it to be the lowest amount of fat possible if you're on a diet. Again, for Taika, I always get the honey one because it just has a hint of sweetness. Duh, honey. Um, this just looked good and this just looked good. But this tastes exactly what you would think like. There's actually no lime flavor. It's all watermelon, watermelon essence. So it's sparkly water, watermelon. It's very weird. But yeah, that's the grocery trip. And now I'm gonna put Tekka's shirt on. All right, I whipped up some of my sweet potato fries. I just peeled them, cut them up. I did some black pepper, garlic salt, paprika, and some olive oil. Mixed it all up. I have the air fryer preheating over here at 400 degrees. And then I'm gonna put a layer of um, sweet potato. Nothing on top of each other, just one little layer. And I'm putting it in there for eight minutes and boom, it's done. So while that preheats, I'm going to warm that pan up. I'm gonna put some Pam on the pan and I'm going to make a hamburger. Go oh, the turkey patties I just showed you. Throw those on there, and they should be coming out around the same time. So I got some bread toasting in this like baker air fryer microwave thingy that we got because that's our microwave. But this is all of that in one. These guys are almost done. This guy, ignore that time. It's only three minutes left, and we should be ready to rock. And done. Dinner is served. Yummy. This kid is at the phase now where all he wants to do is eat cereal. I was definitely at that phase. I don't know if it's like a normal kid thing or just a kid that was allowed to eat a lot of junk food thing. I think he's allowed to eat a lot of junk food. I feel like he is. But I don't know what a lot of junk food is. Um, but yeah, he's been wanting cereal for a long time. And the first day I was like, oh dang it, I already made your oatmeal. The second day I was like, I don't know, we just kept forgetting and he did, wasn't getting his, uh, his cereal fix in the morning. So today he's like, can I have cereal? Because we just went to the store and you guys saw I bought it from. Um, and I'm like, fine, you can have it after dinner. And he had that big old burger to himself. Honestly, he just left that much. He's getting so big. So I was like, fine, if you finish it, and if you finish your food, um, you can have some. And he did. And now he's having some. At seven at night. CUNY guy. Okay, this is the first time I'm having this and it's not bad at all. And it's zero calories. This is really good. Yeah, I've never even had this Hansen's drinks before. But yeah, I'm not mad. <laughs> What's going on over there? <laughs> mwah, 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 mwah. All right, babies. On that note, I'm out of here. I'm gonna rest for as long as this guy will let me and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, I'm thinking tomorrow I'm gonna film of what I eat in the day. I've been getting a lot of DMs and messages on that on my Instagram, so. I'm delivering it. So tomorrow, as soon as I wake up, so it'll be a training day. Like, I don't know if I'll show you guys what I do on a training day or on a weekend. Cause when I'm training, I don't usually have breakfast, but when I'm not, like let's say it's a weekend, I do have breakfast. I don't know. I'll figure it out. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Thank you.